This is Salma Schimmel in Chicago for the Group Room. We're at the 2012 Multidisciplinary Symposium in Thoracic Oncology, which is brought to you by ASTRO, IASLC, ASCO, and the University of Chicago. And we are joined now by Dr. Sylvia Novello, who's Assistant Professor, Thoracic Oncology Unit at the San Luigi Hospital in Orbasano, Italy, part of the University of Turin, and President of WALS, Women Against Lung Cancer in Europe. Hi, Dr. Novello. Hi, happy to be here. Let's start with your clinical work because you are presenting your own uh, study here and let's talk about your, your maintenance research first. We talked about maintenance therapy in advanced no small cell lung cancer. That is a new approach in uh, this setting because uh, we uh, didn't talk about uh, maintenance therapy before uh, because the only opportunity was to continue with uh, doublet uh, chemotherapy containing platinum and this it was not possible because of toxicity mainly and because there was no added benefit continue with this uh, uh, chemotherapy but uh, in the last decade uh, having a new uh, drugs uh, new targeted therapies and a new uh, cytotoxic drug uh, uh, now we have the opportunity to continue with therapy and with some uh, trials we had some benefit. Uh, having uh, in one case in the Paramount trial, which is a trial with pemetrexid and cisplatinum in the induction and then a continuation therapy with uh, pemetrexid, we reached uh, 70 uh, overall survival in this trial that is real. Uh, really a goal in this kind of patient. Uh, the only issue is that we do not have a specific criteria to select which patient more benefit from maintenance approach. So we have to discuss patient by patient looking at the clinical benefit. Would you please explain what maintenance therapy actually is? It is uh, a continuation therapy. So the uh, oldest uh, uh, approach was the induction treatment at the time of diagnosis, then uh, follow-up control, and at the time of the relapse, the second-line treatment. Maintenance therapy means to do the induction treatment, and in case of stable disease or response, we can continue with the same drug or anticipate one drug from the second line with the goal to get something more in terms of uh, progression-free survival and obviously overall survival. But I believe that the main goal is to have uh, a good toxicity profile and also an impact on quality of life. How long can a patient stay on maintenance therapy safely? You know, in uh, maintenance treatment in the Paramount trial with Pemetrexid, uh, uh, we saw some patient with uh, 17 to 24 more uh, cycle with Pemetrexid with not so much added toxicity with an advantage in terms of uh, uh, delayed uh, um, uh, symptom control, so this is another important uh, uh, goal reached with maintenance therapy. But obviously this is not for all the patient, it's for one part of the patient to uh, continue with uh, uh, therapy. What about quality of life? Unfortunately, this is not uh, an issue very well studied in uh, all of the trial in maintenance therapy. Where this issue is well examined, we can see some uh, improvement in quality of life. So this is an important thing. In the Paramount trial, there, there is an improvement. In another trial in maintenance therapy, there is an improvement in terms of quality of life. But there are also ongoing trial in maintenance approach looking specifically to quality of life. Dr. Silvia Novello, Assistant Professor, Thoracic Oncology Unit at the San Luigi Hospital in Orbisano, Italy, part of the University of Turin, President of WALS, Women Against Lung Cancer in Europe, and also a board member of IASLC. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much, Dr. Novello.
Dr. Sylvia Novello, Assistant Professor, Thoracic Oncology Unit at the San Luigi Hospital in Orbisano, Italy, part of the University of Turin, President of WALS, Women Against Lung Cancer in Europe, and also a board member of IASLC. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so very much, much Dr. Novello.